Hi, fourth and fifth grader. Welcome to music. So happy Wednesday. Um, there is a lot of rain in the forecast this week. So far it hasn't rained too much. On Monday night it rained a little bit, I think. And today it might be raining. Um, potentially it might be raining tomorrow, Friday, this weekend. Um, basically this just this is the time of year when rain happens because I don't know if you've heard, but April showers bring May flowers. So in April, we are in the month of April and you get a lot of rain so that then it waters the grass and the ground and the flowers bloom in May. So in spring, we get all these beautiful flowers, um, which is really exciting. But right now we are kind of in a rainy season, which um, I don't know if you like rain, Sometimes I like rain, sometimes it can be kind of nice and soothing and you can just curl up with a movie and a blanket at home. Um, so I wanted to do some activities today that have to do with rain. So first, I'm gonna teach you a song. And the song is called Pitter Patter. And it goes like this. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on the window pane. Pretty simple little song, um, but it's about rain, pitter pattering on the window pane. And I have some movement I want to do with it, okay? So just watch, I'm going to do. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on the window pane. Cool. So, whenever we do pitter patter, we go pitter patter. Can you try that with me? Ready? Pitter patter, pitter patter. So, this time, as I sing, can you, whenever there's a pitter patter, Pat your legs with me. Here we go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on the window pane. Cool, awesome, awesome. And so did you see what I did? I said, listen to the rain. So I did listen, pointing to my ears because we're listening to the rain. And I was like, how can I show rain? We're gonna do this. Okay. Mm Can you try doing those actions with me this time as well? Here we go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on the window pane. So the last part has four movements. First, we go up with our fingers together, then we draw a line like the top of the window pane, we go down on the sides of the window pane, and then back together. So together, apart, down, together. One, two, three, four. Can you try that with me? Ready, go. One, two, three, four. On the window pane. Okay, try all the movements with me and listen as I sing. Here we go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on the window pane. All right, you've heard the song quite a few times now. Can you sing and do the movements with me? Here we go. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, on the window pane. Very good, very good. Now, I wanna show you something because this song, I'm sure you were like, Miss Wagner, this is such an easy song. And you know why it's so easy, I think? It only has three notes, can you believe it? It's pretty, it sounds nice, it sounds maybe familiar, it kinda of sounds like some other songs. It kind of sounds like Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, um, if you think about it. But there's only three notes that we use. And so those three notes, do you know what they are in solfege? Do, re, mi. 
So if I was to sing this song in solfege, it would sound like this. Do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, mi, re, do, mi, re. Do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, mi, mi, re, re, do. Can you try just using those three notes? I'm gonna sing up part of the song in solfege and I want you to sing it back to me, okay? Here I go. Do, re, mi, do, your turn. Do, re, mi, do, my turn. Mi, re, do, mi, re, your turn. My turn. Do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, your turn. Here you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My turn. Mi, mi, re, re, do. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Now, I am a big fan of solfege, and I know that we're super familiar with so mi la so la so mi re do mi re do might be one of the most common melodies in music it's everywhere and so this song it really just uses do re and mi so that's why i like this song because it has rain and it has our solfege so i would like us to now just sing back some solfege on Do Re Mi. So echo my pattern that I sing. Here I go. Do Re Mi Do, your turn. Here you go. Do Re Mi Do, my turn. Here I go. Mi Re Mi Re, your turn. Here you go. Mi Re Mi Re, my turn turn. Here I go. Do, re, do, re, your turn. Here you go. Do, re, do, re. Okay, pause. That probably was pretty easy for you, right? I hope so. So I gotta turn this around. I have my xylophone here. You can't really see it, but it is here. And I'm going to play something and your job is to sort of decode it. You're gonna figure out what the solfege it is that I'm playing. So if I play. You would sing. Do, re, re, mi. I'm gonna play a different one. Your job, I'm gonna play it and then I want you to sing it and then I'll sing it so you can check if you got it right. Ready, here we go. Let's hear it. Did you sing? Do, mi, re, do. Just as a review. This is do. Do, re, mi, mi, re, do. Cool. Okay, here comes another one. Let's hear it. That sounds kind of like our song. Pitter patter, do, re, mi, do. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna add so, which is this note. So, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do, so, do, so, do, so, do, so, mi, re, do. Okay, so now you've got it kind of in your head. Try this one. Your turn. My turn. So, mi, re, do. Is that what you sang? I sure hope so. Good job. Okay, try this one. Did you sing? Do, mi, so, mi. This is a great listening activity just to hear 
that you can hear the difference between the notes and you can tell if it's do, re, mi, or so. And it helps you learn music, which is really cool. Let's do one more. It started on do. Do, re, mi, so. Very cool. Now, if you found that challenging at all, that is totally okay because sometimes it's a little bit hard. You can hear the note and you could probably sing it back super easily, but it's a little bit more difficult to figure out what the solfege is because you might not be super familiar, oh, sorry, super familiar with solfege or which note belongs to which syllable. And that's okay. Most important is that you could hear this and sing do, 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 do because that's how we learn music. And that's what I want to teach you is how to learn music. So um, yes, that is our pitter patter song and some solfege. And now it is time to do a different activity with rain. And we are going to watch a video that talks about how you can create a rainstorm sound using just body percussion. So using parts of your body, clapping, snapping, patting, we're going to watch a woman and she's going to tell us all about creating a rainstorm and how it can get louder and softer. And then after you've watched that video on the next page, there is a video of an actual choir doing this. And it is so amazing. If you watch the video and try closing your eyes and just listening, and I bet that you'll feel like you're actually in a rainstorm because it is so cool how you can just make that sound just using your body. And try clapping and patting along with the video and try being a part of the rainstorm.